The region Hawaii commander, Rear Admiral Stephen Barnett, is one of less than a dozen African-American admirals in the U.S. Navy. It's a responsibility he says he's honored to have. I caught up with Barnett in his office at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam and asked him what Black History Month means to him. So we've come a long way, and um, it's good that this kind of drives home the point to sailors that look like me, but also to sailors who don't look like me. From pictures of Dory Miller, the first black American to be awarded the Navy Cross, to memorabilia of the Tuskegee Airmen, the first all African American Air Force squadron during World War II. Barnett is surrounded by reminders of how far African Americans have come and how much more work needs to be done. As the U.S. Navy's representative to Hawaii, he faces a new challenge, helping families devastated by the Navy's mishandling of the Red Hill crisis and repairing its broken relationship with the community. Congratulations on the two-star promotion, by the way. Well, thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. Amazing accomplishment, and because we are gathering for Black History Month, we have to ask you, how important has it been for you to reach these higher ranks when there's not that many, like maybe a 10, less than a dozen right. African Americans at the high levels of our military? I'll tell you that um, I didn't plan on being in this long when I first joined, but uh, I saw the opportunity. Um, I like the diversity, I like where we were going as a country and also as a service. So I figured I would stay around a little bit longer. So uh, it's an honor to be here, it's an honor to serve. What would you like to kind of share with our community? It is a very diverse community, of course, but you know, funnily enough, the African-American community is not very big. I can tell you that this is my second tour here. So we like to call this our second home, my wife and I, Naima, uh, this is our second home. So we feel like we're back at home, back in Tennessee. Um, and we've been accepted by the community. Uh, folks know us, they talk to us, they treat us like family. So when you're with family, it doesn't feel like you're actually on a tour. It's not been an easy one for you to take up. How have you been able to rebuild the trust right. amongst the community? Great question. It's uh, situations like this, opportunities like this, just talking, uh, getting out in the community. Um, something as simple as going on a hike, being in the community. That's what's important is being part of the community and show them that, hey, we're here. You know, we just happen to work behind the fence line, but we're outside the fence line too. We're part of the community we're, and we have a, a combined history. Every morning when I come to work, um, I think of the history, particularly as it goes to African American history, Black History Month, uh, whether it's Dory Miller that was actually here on the island, uh, whether it was a little known fact, uh, uh, John Coltrane, uh, the great musician, a jazz musician, he was stationed here. So every day I think about the history and not just black history, but our history as a country, as a state, uh, and, it, and it's overwhelming. I mean, I spent a lot of time thinking and reflecting on our history, past, present, and future. Just again, I wanted to reiterate just how important people see the Navy to Hawaii, $2 billion in our economy. But again, there's that balance between being good stewards right. of the land right. and because of what's happened with Red Hill, right. I think there's that broken trust relationship. Right. Um, so going forward, how can you strengthen that and just reassure folks that you have to take care of us too? Yes, you're exactly right. Um, this is my third tour as a Navy region commander. First tour was in uh, Washington State. Second tour was in San Diego. This is my third tour out here. Every, and what we have in common is the community, is we have to be out in the community. We have to build that trust. Uh, yes, we have some things that we need to do to show that we're, you know, trustworthy, but we're out there in the community, whether it's me from my end at Navy Region Hawaii or the Joint Task Force, you know, that's actually out doing Admiral Wade, out meeting and doing things. So we have some work to do, but I feel confident that with my staff, his staff, and with this great community that we can get there. We're looking forward to the great things that you'll be doing during your stint here. Thank you. I'm looking forward to being here, staying and uh, visiting and meeting as many people as I can and eating some great food. <laughs> That's right. Some benefits. If you uh, have any suggestions for the Admiral, you can write it in to us here at uh, Hawaii News Now. But Thank thanks you. so much, uh, Admiral Steve Barnett, for joining us today.